welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to the Volvo. And uh, oh, also welcome to my last week at Burden's Transport. I know, I know. But these things have to be done. They have to be done. We've got to move forward. We've got to keep pushing forward. We've got to keep pushing ourselves. And uh, I've not fallen out with the job. I've just, it's, it's run its course. So, you know. My motto is always do what you love and if you're going to spend 80% of your time, 80% of your life in a job then you might as well do a job that you enjoy. Um, so yeah, uh, we are on our way to Dorchester. Um, all I know is we're loading construction equipment. We've got um, a flat trailer on today. Uh, it's, it's actually my favourite trailer. Uh, it's the green one that we purchased. Um, so yeah, uh, on our way to Dorchester, load construction equipment and let's go to Liverpool. Let's go to Liverpool and then we've got a load of steel back from Liverpool back down to Dorset again. So that should could keep, keep us going for a couple of days and uh, that should be fun. Oh, we could be getting snow as well. First, you, not, not first snow this year because I, I had lots of snow over in Norway. Um, but my first, could be my first UK snow today. I don't think we're gonna get stuck in it or like, it's not like significant, but I could see my first UK snow. I'm quite excited about it, as you can probably tell. Right, let's crack on and go get loaded. side of Dorchester and just dropping down into the village of Grimstone. Uh, I believe that where we're going is just the other side of Grimstone, just off the Sidling St Nicholas turning. So yeah, we'll be the, what's it going to be? It's going to be uh, 7.40 by the time we are here, hopefully. Far from here, Garmin says that we're there already. <laughs> uh, but Waze has taken us pretty much to the doorstep. Alright, we want to turn right here, out of the railway bridge, and then first right again. I do believe. KR Joyce. Glad we ain't got to go very far up this road because it's uh, it's not a very nice road. Come on. I know you're going to take that long. I would have gone. Right. dodgy reversing back down here. Yeah. No, there's uh, Amco site entrance. Right uh, oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I'll pass the cottage by the looks of things. Yeah, right see these, see this sign here? Yeah. Amco, site entrance, that's where I'm going to, pick up. 
Yeah, I think I'm going straight up. Cheers, buddy. Got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. I thought he was going to go all forward then let us pass, but going, going up there. Okay, looks like it's up here. Dude, buddy. Wow. This is uh, not where I want to be reversing back from. <laughs> Jeez. I hope it's up here. Here, there better be somewhere to turn around. So I thought I was going up where that tanker was coming from. But then the signs pointed up here. We'll soon find out, I guess. some sort of compound, maybe. <laughs> At least there's somewhere to turn around. Go for that. go much further. Right, let's have a little Google map because that looks a bit more like a farm track. So, right, I'm going to make a phone call, I'm going to have a look on Google Maps and I'm going to see what, uh, if I need to carry on. <laughs> Right, I just backed up a little bit to make sure I didn't miss it, but we're on the right road. Um, apparently it's a load of construction equipment. It's about three quarters of a mile up the track, so... I don't know if I... I haven't seen anything yet. But apparently the guy that I just spoke to isn't on site. 
but his phone in the side will let him know that I'm on my way, so... Like, reversing back out of here isn't a problem. Uh, I was going to walk it, but reversing up here will be fine. Yeah, this is more of a muddy track now. Okay, yep, that's cows. It's definitely cows. This is a muddy track. <laughs> oh my days. I definitely come up the right road, it's just... Had I done three quarters of a mile? Who knows? way there that I could back into if need be. Uh, it'd be a bit tight getting back around there. I'm not too worried about reversing back up this track anyway. I'm sure it must be down there. Just panicking. <laughs> Farms. And so we continue. <laughs> Looks like there's something down here though. No idea what it is. Oh, oh we could be right. Could be construction equipment coming up. Okay, yeah, that's definitely construction equipment. Phew! I really thought that, like, that farm was it and I just missed seeing the construction equipment but now here we are look looks like Harris fencing feet oh so it's like it's railway stuff okay fair enough That looks like railway cars. I hope, I hope we're not moving railway cars. <laughs> uh, that could be interesting. Okay, we're at the right place. Apparently there's somewhere up here to turn round. So we're gonna turn round. I don't think it's those rail carts, thank Jesus. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't fancy them rolling around. Uh, but I think this is probably gonna be a blind side. A blindside reverse. I don't think anyone's in any hurry, so they're just casually washing off all the equipment. Don't know if I can get my nose in there and then reverse back round so I can get it on my good side. Oh. I'd rather do it when I'm empty because uh, it's 
so he's getting stuck. In there forwards, I should do hopefully. A little bit tight, but don't quite know how deep that hole is. Take it easy. from that angle anyway. Getting back round through that. Right. Let's see if we can get back round. And get the back end of the trailer nice and tight to the Gate post, and the bike falling off on the left hand side. That is going to be really tight trying to get out of there. Trailing. Come on. Come on, don't get stuck. Trailer's just cleared it up so tight. Please don't hit the tree. Bit of a bit of a jackknife. up a little bit. I like digging into the mud too much. <laughs> wow, this is fun. This is what I love. This is what I get up in the morning for. <laughs> wow, yeah, that was tight. Well, we're around, we'd have to worry about turning around loaded and stuff. Although turning around loaded might have been a bit easier because we might have had a bit more traction, but... Hindsight is a wonderful thing, as they say. All right, let's get back down here and see what we're loading. I think it's like all the Harris fencing and stuff. Oh, that's deep. That's deep mud. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry, you okay? You still stood up? Yeah, you're fine. Try not to make it too seasick down there. But yeah, that's the railway line down the left-hand side there. Um, they've been doing a lot of work on a bridge apparently up the road. They've been using this farm as their base, their yard. <sighs> right, Let's see if we can capture some of this loading procedure for you. You know, not like a little bit of loading and unloading. Cut my window up so we're not covered in pressure washer water. Right, so you're gonna park here and uh, I'll speak to you in a bit.
our way. We've uh, only been here for two hours. And in between dodging the heavy rain, drinking tea and biscuits with the lads, we're done. And we've got um, we've got four big pumps, about two ton each. Uh, we've got like the tower lights, pallets of um, pipes. We've got a skip full of stuff and uh, other smaller pumps and generators so yeah we've got a nice nice tidy load just want to keep some traction air once we get over all these bumps i'm uh, oh come on she's a bit heavy when we get up to the farmyard i've done all this bouncing around i'm going to get out and check all the Check all the straps. This is a good, uh, good way to bed everything in. 271 miles, five and a half hours. Be there by 15:30. We're going to need a break, so it's going to be 16:30 here. Yeah. Hopefully, we get it off today, but we'll see. I'd hope to get it off today, but I'm not sure that um, not sure that time's going to allow. Yeah, I think there's about 15 straps on that lot. Took a long time to load and strap, that's for sure. the farm track. <laughs> wow. Well at least the bumps are doing a good job of settling the load anyway. A bit bumpy but I want to get a bit of speed for this hill. Just have a bit of manual. Hold this gear. Get ourselves up. Ugh. Probably doesn't look like much of a slope on the camera but I wouldn't want to have to stop and start on it. this chalky stuff up here that's greasy. Wet chalk is worse than ice. Yeah, feel it slipping. Try not to go right into the tracks as well because there's quite a, a hump in the middle. It's quite easy to ground it out. trailer there, load of some bells. Right, I'm going to jump out here and check the straps.
Well, you've been going for three and a half hours now, so well over halfway. Well, I'm going to pull in Frankly Services. Get me a cup of coffee. Weather's been nice. Temperature's dropped from uh, 11 degrees to 7 degrees as we come further north. Yeah, we've had no, well, we, we got stuck in a little bit of traffic for about 20 minutes down in Taunton, but nothing too bad. It is uh, 20 to 2 in the afternoon now. Try and find somewhere to park in here. Ah, plenty of parking. What's that wagon doing? Has he just realised that he can't fit on the end of there? So he's gonna. Where's he gonna go? Where you go, Mush? Come on. I'm gonna park behind that little digger. Parking. Fan dabby dozy. I'm going to get my tail in a little bit more because it's a tinsy bit stuck out. too close in case uh, we can't get back out again. Well, there ain't no room for anybody to park behind us anyway, so. Good enough. Right. Break. It is almost quarter two, so half, half two. Half two, we can get back on the road again. Right, not bad progress. Right, coffee time. Uh, break that. Cup of coffee and a sandwich. Spin around here. Is this a BP? Yes, it is a BP. I may be getting diesel here then. Didn't even realise it was a BP. <laughs> Get round that. They are digging up. I will go here instead. Snow! 
Wow. Um, yeah, tricky conditions. I think it's a, it's a little more, well, I was going to say it's a little more speedy, but the temperature just dropped from 7 degrees to 3 degrees in like a mile. <laughs> Lovely. Sleety snow. Hey, we're a couple of minutes away. There's lots of pink trees everywhere. I'm try, trying to work out why there's pink trees everywhere, but there is a lot of them. Uh, so yeah, we're about five minutes, maybe less, from our uh, our drop at the Wirral. Sadly, we're going to be there at quarter to six. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get tipped tonight. I've seen plenty of Greta's, and apparently it's going to be very cold tonight. But yeah, it's taken a long, long time to get here. We got we had really heavy traffic on the M53, but you know, it's the time that it is, so it's going to be busy. Uh, more pink trees. <laughs> Yeah, I just hope I can get parked up on the industrial estate near where we're going to be tipping so that I can, uh, I can be there nice and early and get tipped off and don't have to go and try and find somewhere to park. That would be very nice. Alright. Turn left down here somewhere. Oh, it's roundabout. To the left of the roundabout somewhere. Oh, there are some more pretty trees. It's snowflakes. Do you think they've forgotten to take their uh, Christmas decorations down? That's what it looks like to me. Town centre, this is what I like. I do like these decorations, they are um, they're very pretty. It's different, isn't it? Oh, look at these trees! This is very nice. <laughs> Don't open your car door that close to me again. Car lane industrial estate, that sounds good enough for me. far away from the town centre. Not that I need anything, I've got water, I've got food. I can boil water for coffee, so shouldn't need anything. I thought it was a pretty pond then, but it's just flooded. <laughs> Like the 
road round to the right. Cleaned all my windows and mirrors this morning before I left the yard. And I have to do it again, I think. They are minging. It looks like there's park, there's park struck up here. <laughs> there's trucks parked around here, so... Yeah. Okay, left here. Tight junction because I don't want to take out that that Range Rover. But then the trailers have to go around the curb, around the pavement. Well, there's lots of gateways. I don't think I don't think I'll be parking here. Well, I can park there, I suppose. Uh, along here, that looks pretty good. But yeah, that's the place that we want directly in front of us. Uh, might be able to squeeze on here. Uh, look at that. Squeeze in between these two gateways. Well, that, that gateway there looks like theirs anyway, so... I think we can get away with parking here. I think that's nice. This is the place that we want, right in front of us. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Happy with that. Uh, uh, that's better. All sorted. Uh, yeah, good to get up in the morning. Um, kettle's on. Gonna have pot noodles tonight. Pot noodle and a cup of coffee. Uh, so yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we, uh, if you didn't hear it, we had the big news that um, I'm, I've started a new job. Not Well, not yet. I'm starting a new job. And this is quite possibly going to be my last night in the Volvo. It's a bit sad, really. I'm going miss, gonna to miss this old girl. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. New, new challenges, new uh, exciting times. It is exciting times. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, uh, I've had, I've had uh, a fantastic time with Burden Transport. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's been emotional at times. We've, we've had some adventures, um, but I'm not going to tell you just yet uh, what I'm doing. It's all going to be a surprise. But don't worry, you will find out. Um, if you want sneak peeks and you want to try and guess what I'm doing, uh, when I start, I'm going to be posting like teaser pictures on my social media. So, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you're on either of them, make sure you add me, and then you'll be able to see the pictures. And you can try and guess what it is that I'm going to be doing. The kettle is nearly boiled. So I'm going to have my pot noodle and my cup of coffee. Then I'm going to snuggle down to bed. It's like two degrees outside and snowing, so it's nice and snuggly in air, lovely and warm. Um, so yeah, I expect I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night and sleep tight.
right, that's us all done. Unloaded, super quick time. But they got here at seven o'clock and uh, unloaded by 20 past, so <laughs> can't say better than that. Our only problem is now, it is our only way out, is to reverse all the way back down the road we come. And they're probably blindside at the end. That should be fun. Anyway, we've got to get ourselves over to Birkenhead, which is about 20 minutes away, so I'll see you when we get over there. You join me like 20 minutes later, if that. <laughs> yeah, I think we've just got to go right and right. Uh, yeah, we've got to go right at these lights over a bridge and then right again. And we should be there, hopefully. Fingers crossed. There's not many trucks there. We get loaded and we get on our way. It's like sleety snow out there. It's three degrees. It's god awful. <laughs> Not nice in the slightest. Oh, look at that weather. You have put my coat on this morning. Very rarely wear my coat. Oh, oh yeah, there's our bridge we need to go over. something wrong but we will see go and see what they say. Not impressed. 10 o'clock now, we've got it a quarter eight. 
So we sat for an hour down at the Weybridge when we first got here because they didn't recognise my reference number because it was a reference number for yesterday and I couldn't get here yesterday and it's today that I'm here although it's still the same reference number. They knew what the load was, they knew they knew where it was going, they just wouldn't load me so uh, uh, it took an hour to get that rectified I've been told to come down to Warehouse D2 where I've been told they need two forklifts to load this because the lengths of steel so I've been sat here waiting for two forklifts whilst the trucks around us that only require one forklift are being loaded so yeah still we wait we wait ETA back to the yard now is going to be about five o'clock not good not good at all we got off a, got such a such a good start but yeah it's all this uh, all this rubbish and general haulage that I am really really not going to miss oh. and it's still raining and still cold but we're in the nice warm so who cares It's 11 o'clock now, got to stick all these posts in both sides, make sure this steel doesn't roll off and then uh, should be on our way. So there's, there's our load, nice long length of steel, length of the trailer, going to get all these posts in, get the straps on and then uh, make our way back down south again. Jeez, ah, <laughs> we're on our way. We've got our full complement of steel, reinforced steel, rods, tube, no it's not tube, whatever it is, rebar, that's good enough. It's only half past 11. Ugh. Only uh, three and three quarters an hour to get this loaded and get out. We're back over our dodgy bridge again. Uh, our arrival time is going to be five o'clock, so after a break, six o'clock, maybe seven o'clock with traffic. <laughs> oh, you can make it up, good job. Well, first service has come to, I'm stopping because I am starving. Literally not had any chance to get any breakfast yet, so... Get out of this... Hell hole!
look at this. We're not even down at Stafford yet. And the M6 is broken. Very, very broken. So our late day has turned into even even later day. Ah, it could be worse, it could be Friday. Then that would really upset me. But it's not. I think we're gonna get back to the yard about half past six, seven o'clock tonight. So another 13 hour day. Oh, the joys, the joys, the joys. I've been stuck in this for about 20 minutes. Probably got about another 15, 20 minutes more to go. minutes later and we're rolling again by way to reopen the road oh, I take it, it was that van the poor van was marooned in uh, in lane three so hopefully that's that, that's dealt with the traffic we were in. I wonder the van, like it was a seven and a half tonner. Wow, it's nice to be moving again. There we are, I noted all my times down. Seven hours driving today. Uh, thanks to our really long loading process today, we've got back to the yard at seven o'clock. So yeah, another one of the reasons why uh, general haulage is a, a pain in the backside. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be about it. This is gonna be my final vlog in the Volvo. Final vlog, working for burdens. But we've got new adventures, we've got new challenges, and uh, hopefully some great content to make. Um, whilst I'm in the interim period of jobs, uh, I'm probably going to release a couple of um, 
mirror cam videos just to uh, you know buy the time and, 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 and help the transition period because you know the first week on there I might not be able to vlog so uh, yeah hopefully a, a couple of mirror cam videos which will be like commentary videos so um, even though this will be my last vlog this might not be the last vlog that you see or the last it'll be the last vlog but it won't be it might not be the last video that you see from the Volvo um, so yeah we got that coming anyway I hope you've enjoyed the adventures with bird and transport with uh, um, there's been lots of highs and lows uh, there's been lots of difficult jobs and some some easy ones uh, but it seems like for the last uh, few months there's been I don't know, more 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 challenging days than good days shall we say <laughs> so yeah I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to new things so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe for plenty more videos not just like this but better than this and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.